So have you been playing Star Citizen and seeing this all the time every time you loot? Well, here's the solution to this problem. This is not guaranteed. It doesn't mean that it's going to be flawless every single time. But so far, it's been really good. I've been playing for a few days with no issues after doing this method. So the first part of the video is going to show you exactly that. The rest of it is going to be gameplay. So if you're not interested in seeing that, it's fine. But it's going to be demonstrating the rest of my live stream just testing out this method. So anyway, hope you guys find this helpful and I hope you enjoy the video. So uh, this is what I've been doing and I've been inventory bug free for the past couple days. And I probably jinxed it right now for saying it, but let's test it out. This is going to be a stream of testing this. So this is what I've been doing. So basically what I do is I, I take off like my helmet or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just switch an item out from the inventory on the local and then just bring it back over to, you know, just swap it back and forth between your character and then off to uh, the local inventory at least once. You can do a couple times, like you can just swap some things out. Like, let's say uh, I want to change out my, I don't know, my freaking, I guess I could just swap this out and then go through the filters and find it. Like here, I'm going to take this and equip it because why not like that, whatever whatever there I, I did some stuff so now hopefully the bug is not gonna be during my gameplay session session we, we'll see what happens because this is the biggest bug in the entire game like if it th if we didn't have to worry about the inventory shit then this game will be a hundred percent like worth playing and i would definitely recommend it but it's just there's so many other little nuance bullshit that you have to be careful of, like the elevator freaking bugging out and you th falling through the floor, which I don't know. Like, <laughs> let me let me hope that nothing's going to happen right now. Let's see what happens. OK, get out of the elevator as fast as possible. <laughs> and then sometimes there'll be like stretchers out in the middle of nowhere, like the, they'll just be hanging out here. Um, those are scary, too, because that could knock you through the floor or kill you immediately. So you got to watch out with that. Also, that step right there could kill you because I died a couple days ago to that. Like, it's, there's so many little things that could just ruin your day. So uh, you definitely need to be aware of everything. I still got my little um, my box thing. So I think I was going to go do some bunkers. Mess around with that. Let me throw this out in the garbage like a normal human being. I've been doing this. I've been trying to like role play a little bit better. Oh, I almost fucking hurt myself. Look, I took damage. You see, you got to be careful in this game, man. You got to be <laughs> You never know when something's going to hurt you. I'm probably going to loot everything I possibly can in here. I'll take a bunch of backpacks and everything. Put them in here. 27 looks like the sweet spot. There we go. That was a good one. Pop nicely. Very good. All right, let me grab these. I feel like if I was doing this shit in real life, I would hate it. But in a video game, I don't know why it's so, so fascinating. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird the shit we will do in a video game, but we won't do in real life. Like fishing. Like. I kind of like fishing in real life, but at the same time, it's it's really fucking boring and really annoying. Because, like, you'll sit there forever, and then you'll finally get a little tug, and it lands up that it was actually just some, like, something brushing from the, the bottom. Like, like if the hook hits the, the, the land or whatever and just starts scraping and hits a rock, and I get all excited thinking it's a fish, and it's not. It's just freaking seaweed or some shit. I gotta take care of this guard over here. He's gonna, gonna be like, what the fuck? It's this big ass box here. What? You see? The fuck is this big ass box? Anybody else? All right, let me loot this guy. I forgot that. Ah, oh, that's what I forgot. This helmet doesn't have a like a a flashlight on it. I wish there was a way for me to transfer it straight onto the. Uh, what's it called? Let me see. I'm gonna grab this you grab hold on all right i can grab like this grab and then place it Oof. and then grab helmet and then place it Oof. 
Anything else I want from his body? I'll grab his arms, why not? Ever since that last time that I got shot at, like, while I was just here in the dock, it, it worries me now. Because if somebody else like that comes along and just starts shooting at me while I'm trying to do this, that would suck. Major booty. Okay, under, I'm going to just filter for something dumb. Okay, like vehicles. There we go. Swap this over. Like I got a bunch of backpacks. At least this is like unlimited inventory over here. I could sit here just swapping things all day. I didn't really get too much like mining materials at all. I'm actually kind of surprised. That was a really terrible haul. This helmet, I'm going to swap it out for something else. I got to go in the safety of the inside just to swap my helmet. This one doesn't have a... What's it called? It doesn't have a, a like a light. And it looks cool as shit though. Like look at it. Can't. You see, it looks like like almost like a Boba Fett type thing. Looks really cool. I just can't see with the damn thing in the dark. It would be nice if it had like a built in night vision or something. That would be sick. And eventually they're gonna add a like a single player campaign type thing with this game and they had a uh, mark hamill as one of like the one of the characters in that they were showing it a while back I don't, I don't know whatever happened with it and if they're still working on it probably but they got a lot on their plate with this game this game is definitely heavy there's there's a lot there's a lot to this game it's insane it's super ambitious it's easily the most ambitious game ever created i thought guild wars 2 was ambitious no man this this is unbelievably ambitious. Come on. If I can get this box in the door, that would be ambitious. <laughs> there we go. Uh okay, so let me gather all this loot. This is the most time consuming thing of this, because you gotta grab everything individually. Like this, and I'm gonna grab this gun. And then I store it in the box. Eventually they they might add like a, a way to, you know, like a loot all button. They really need that. But, it, you know, with the way the inventory system has been like bugged lately, I don't, I don't really, um, I wouldn't really get too excited about it yet. You know, grab, there we go. Loots. I want your helmet. I want this. And I want these clips, cause why not? Ooh, I like those those legs. I want those legs. I want this too. And I like this too. Okay, there we go. Before he disappears. So I can grab this shit and put it in the box. Okay. Drop it in the box. Oof. Landing gear down. Uh, if you guys want to see it in third person view. It's kind of hard to play in third person view just because like it's. It's weird to control like the mouse. It, like if I was using like the, the joysticks or something, like that would probably be nice. But it's, it's weird landing like this. There we go. Land. Oof. Um, what am I doing? All right, transferring everything. Oh shit, I got like way too many things in my inventory now. I really have to sort through all this stuff. I'd probably just keep all the guns that I actually like and then everything else I'll sell. I'm really happy I found this out because this game has dramatically gone up in value for me. Because I've been suffering so much with this bug and it's been the major part of my gameplay has been looting and trying to make some money and stuff. So it's awesome to finally play Star Citizen without having to worry about the biggest issue, which is this. So I really, really hope it was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you on the next one. Later.